Hello and welcome. I am Carlos from Everything Tech and today what I've got here is a wireless touchpad designed for Windows 8. What this does is help you with the gestures with Windows 8. Um, it provides um, a trackpad for a normal PC to be used instead of a mouse and uh, you can do all the gestures that you can on a touch screen. I got this from PC World and they're at the moment selling this for £4.99. I'm not kidding, delivered for £4.99. So it's a great, great bargain. And it, you, you can tell me anything, how rubbish this product is, but the technology inside of it is going to be worth much more than £4.99. And you have to take tax out and delivery. And you know, that is just a giveaway. Uh, so basically this is the front of the box. It just says there's a wireless touchpad designed for Windows 8. It replicates a touchscreen like experience, 2.4 gigahertz wireless connections. Uh, it's got multi-finger gesture and edge swipe ideal for Windows 8. Built-in rechargeable battery. One more thing that you don't have to worry about. As soon, you can use it at the same time as you're charging it. So during that period, you're going to have to, to have it plugged in. But after that, you can just use it wirelessly. And let's have a look inside the box. So the touchpad gestures you get are um, a click, um, click, left click, uh, scroll with two fingers, a pinch or zoom and swipe from the right edge to display the charms bar and swipe from the left edge to cycle through the open applications and swipe from the top edge to display application bar. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if there are any more gestures. I don't think Windows 8 has got any more gestures than that. But uh, I'm really curious to find out how many points is this multi-touch on here. I assume it's only two. But, you know, for the price, I can't expect much more than that. But uh, I'm really curious to find out. So at the back, it says that it's a wireless touchpad designed for Windows 8, replica touch, blah, blah. It says compatible systems are Microsoft Windows XP. It's compatible with Vista 7 and 8. So, you know, anything from XP onwards is compatible with it. It's got a touchpad on the pad, on the pack contents, USB nano receiver, USB charging cable, instructions manual. So that's, that's what we're going to get inside of this pack. So let's open it up. Okay, so the first part, I'll just rip this up. So it's a USB, it's a mini USB um, to full USB. This is for charging the internal battery. So you get a an instruction manual uh, to let you know how to plug the device and um, basically how to charge it and how to operate it. So uh, let's have a look at the touchpad itself. So this is the touchpad. I don't know if you can see this. So it's, it's quite big. Uh, it's enough to, to make a few gestures on it. So I would have reckoned this is about a, f a four inch uh, platform. Then on the back of it, oh, I like the rubber feet. So on the side, it's got four rubber feet. This is the nano receiver. So you plug this onto the machine uh, and then you just pair it. On the side here of the device, we have an on and off switch and you've got an LED light and then we've got the mini mini USB to plug in there. And here it looks like a pairing button um, on just there. And on the other side, nothing. On the back, nothing. And on the front, nothing. And at the top here, we have two buttons, which is the right click and the left click. And uh, now I'm going to plug it onto my laptop and see how it performs. Okay, so I've got my laptop here and now I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to do all this in real time. I haven't done anything um, just uh, to show you how easy it is to actually do plug in this device and install it. So I've got the nano receiver here. I'm going to, inst I'm going to put it on my USB port. Um, actually, I'm going to turn the device on first. Red light is on. I don't know if that means that I've got no battery. I don't know if there's any charge in it. So I'm just going to put the nano receiver in. Okay, so I just had to turn this off for a minute just to see what was happening and uh, why wasn't this working. 
why this wasn't working and now suddenly it I just heard a sound and it kicked in and it's installing the device so I'm going to speed up through this part of the video and once it's all installed should be good to go okay so it looks like it finished the installation and let's have a quick look yeah, looks like it's finished the installation, but nothing is happening at the moment. Um, let's just press the pairing button again. For the average person would have thought that this was broken. Hence the cost of five pounds. That's probably the reason why, because uh, anybody else would have thought that this is broken because it's not working. You plugged it in, the light is flashing, everything is charging and it's not working. So obviously it's confusing to, to, to say the okay, least. It looks like it's adding the device. So as you can see there, it's two, I don't know if you can see it, but it's 2.4 gigahertz wireless touchpad. So it looks like it's installing the device so I will um, keep the video rolling and I will just speed up a little bit just to see so you won't get bored with this. Okay, as you can see now it's all installed. Um, so everything is working now. I don't know if you can see that, but this is this touchpad here that is working. So although the installation is still at the beginning, it looks like the actual device is working fine. So if we um, just try a couple of the gestures that they say on the packet. If we um, just drag two fingers to the side, so as you can see, it will just move from side to side. And as well, uh, there was another one that is swiped from the top. There you go, you, ca you get the customized. If I swipe it from this side, I get the charms bar. And if I swipe it from this side, I get all the applications that are open. But it looks like it has installed it. Very, very nice. I, I, you know, once you get it installed, it's worth the £4.99. It's definitely worth that. So this is the device uh, that uh, is here. And there is really nothing else. So that, that is it. But yeah, once you get it running, don't despair, just unplug it and replug it a couple of times and you, because it, there might be problems. But uh, if, you're, if there's nothing wrong with your device, if, uh, if there's no ma manufacturer's fault with your device, then it should be okay. And you just have to be a bit patient. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. So this is my unboxing and tests of the Sandstorm wireless touchpad designed for Windows 8 please leave me a comment below rate this video and subscribe i'm always releasing videos like this if you want to see something reviewed just drop me a, a line in the box below and i will try to to get the product so i can unbox it and review it for you well i hope you like this video thank you ever so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.